Okay, so hi. If you didn't know already, I am always hungry because, well, like, in the morning, I don't ha always have time to make breakfast or I don't make time, and so I might eat something, but it's not enough. So by snack time, I am literally dying, and if I don't eat food, I will pass out. I don't know if this will actually happen, but some days I feel like I'm going to die. Lately, I have been bringing like a ton of snacks to school. Um, everyone probably thinks I'm crazy because I bring like a snack bag like this. Instead of having just some goldfish, it is is literally stuffed to the gills. It is like fully packed with snacks. And I just figured it would be helpful if I showed you all the cool snacks that I bring. They're not really cool, it's just what I bring that works for me. That are easy and they're pretty filling because there's probably people out there that are like me who are always hungry and need food to eat during the day when they are not at their house. Or when you're at your house, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, I will show you some things and I will make some things. Okay, good. Okay, so the first thing I probably will always bring forever are these chewy granola bar 90 calorie variety pack snacks. Chocolate chunk oatmeal peanut butter. There's also a s'mores one. And these are like my favorite granola bars because they're really filling and they're sticky so they don't like crumble all over your book bag which happens to me with like the nature valley ones and they're pretty good probably not that good for you i don't it's they're probably not the best thing for you but they're pretty filling and they're my favorite granola bars that's cool okay so lately i have been bringing fig newtons for a long time i never brought these because I love the figs inside, but I hate like the um the this part, like the crumbly bread part. Just I don't know, it's just dry, and I don't feel the need for it. But lately, I've just been bringing it because it tastes really good, and it is really easy to put in a bag. And they even sell like um, mini snack packs of them that are like this long. And they're like two of them. It's kind of like a granola bar, but Fig Newtons. And they're really nice. They're fruity. They're kind of like, they're just like fruit bars. They're kind of like the nature Nutri-Grain bars. I hate Nutri-Grain bars, but I like this. But I guess if you like Nutri-Grain bars, you'll be fine with this. And I think they're kind of good because there's fruit in them. I mean, yeah, fruit is a good thing. Okay, so another thing I have been obsessed with are goldfish, just because they're so cheesy and yummy and pretty easy to eat. My mom got these um, whole grain ones, which I don't really like as much, but if you like whole grain and it, you think this tastes good, you can try it. I don't know, they're cheesy and yummy and they're pretty nostalgic, I guess. you like, that's my childhood goldfish. and. I mean, like, I think what started it was I saw someone in my class bring these, and I was like, girl, I want some. So I came home, and I was like, mom, bring home some goldfish, and she did. I've, I've eaten, like, four bags of these in the past, like, month or so. Yeah. Okay, so then another thing I bring are Slim Jims. And I know they're probably very bad for you, and... If you're vegetarian, this is not a good idea, obviously, because it's meat. I think they're pretty good. When you look at them, they... I don't like this color. Like, the coloring, I don't really like on the packaging. But that doesn't matter. They taste pretty good, even though they're probably pretty salty. I'm sure you could find some sort of Slim Jim or... I don't know, snack that is probably way better for you than this. That's probably, like, meat-related. I don't know, it's just yummy. Probably not my best favorite thing in the world, but it like fills you up if you need meat, which is me like every day. Okay, so the next thing are bringing carrots to school and um, ranch or salad dressing. I have the guacamole ranch 
and normally I positively hate carrots, but my friend kept bringing them and I was like, oh, I'm eating kind of unhealthy things, because I was eating like potato chips and stuff, and so I was like, I'm going to bring them. The first day, I did not bring salad dressing, and if you don't like carrots, don't do this, because they will make you sick, and just a reminder, if you don't eat carrots a lot, or basically any food, and you suddenly eat like a ton of them, like a whole serving, or two servings in two days, you will probably get sick, because like the one day I felt really ill, and that was probably because I haven't eaten them a lot. So I like to bring them in a bag, and then pour my ranch into a little salad dressing cup. And this came with a salad kit thing. But I'm sure you could find these other places. Or just bring your whole salad dressing if you really want to. Guacamole ranch is a pretty good flavor if you were wondering. I pretty, I think I like like the original ranch better. But I didn't have that because I wanted to try this. So yeah, it's pretty good. This um probably not healthy. Uh, you obviously can eat these by themselves. But I don't like doing that because, as I said, carrots are my favorite thing. And so this makes them taste good. And I only filled them up to like this much if I had maybe a handful of carrots. Because you don't need this much or else you're wasting a lot. It says it's an excellent source of omega-3. So if that's what you need, then here you go. Then another thing that I eat a lot are like trail mixes. And I know they're kind of messy depending on how you have them. Because they can like dust everywhere. But... I don't know. These, this one is a good one, I think. It's called It's S'more. It's from, like, Wise or something. I'm sure you could get it from another brand. And, actually, what I like the most out of these are the roasted peanuts. Um, which are just honey roasted peanuts, and they're really good. You can bring peanuts, too. I just don't bring them a lot. Yeah, I don't even eat the chocolate in here. Can, like, can you even believe that? I must be getting healthier because you think I would eat all the chocolate, but I don't. Yeah, they have these weird, like, chocolate chip cookie things, and I don't really eat those because they taste really weird. So, yeah, this is really good. Okay, so, a, another snack that I like, I don't necessarily bring this to school, but is it a really good snack or dessert if you're hungry? And what it is, what I do is I get a banana. A banana. And I cut it up into like pennies or slippers, whatever you want to call it. Then what I do is I put it in a bowl and then I drizzle some honey on it all over and I do like around the bowl so it gets underneath and gets like the bottom bananas. Okay, so I'll make the banana thing. Okay, so the first thing I do is I slice up the banana into like coins. Or First, I cut off this weird bit, and then I just cut it into slices. Okay, so the next thing I do is drizzle some honey. Okay, and you can add some other fruit if you want to and make it like a fruit salad, but this is just a basic banana recipe so yeah and there you have it that is like a really good snack it is nice and sweet and obviously you can eat a banana by itself but it's more fun if it's cut up and with honey um because it's really sweet and it's kind of like a dessert and when my grandparents were here i made it for them and it's pretty cool okay so if you know me i don't really like water that much just plain something there it is it's falling down it is falling down. Okay, so I don't really like tap water or filtered water that much because it's kind of I don't know, I don't like the taste I don't like the taste that much and it kind of gives me a stomach ache if I drink too much. I don't know why. It's just how it is. So a lot of the times when I'm thirsty at school, I either buy a drink there that has like flavored stuff in it, or 
I just don't bring a drink at all, which is not healthy because I basically never drink water. So, recently I decided to buy one of these packet things. And I don't always do this a lot because my mom thinks they're bad for you, which they probably are, but for me, it's better than not having water at all. And I just recently got this strawberry lemonade one. It's from Target, I think, but you can get them other places. And it just looks like this. And I put it in my cute water bottle, which I got this from Target. This is cute, right? I got it from the dollar section, if you're wondering. Basically, I pour water to like here, then I add the packet, and this literally is like the best strawberry lemonade ever. It tastes like the kind you would get from like Isaac's, Red Robin, TGIF's, basically all those um, restaurants where they have strawberry lemonade. It literally tastes like that. It tastes exactly like strawberries have been sitting in real lemonade from real lemons all day and like melding really nicely and it tastes so good and I really suggest it because if you're like me, I hate water and this really helps me because like I'm almost done with this kind of and normally I would drink like none of this if there was no flavoring so it's good for me okay so I use this can opener to open the can of the beans and you don't need this much so I just put it in a Tupperware so I can use it later okay so the next thing I do is I get the chips and I put them on the plate and these are kind of too big for me so I crush them up because they're really big okay so the next thing I do is I put the beans all over the chips so the next thing I do is I add the salsa now, some people don't like their salsa hot, but I do, so I put this on next, but if you don't like, if you don't like salsa hot, then I will tell you later when to put it on. Okay, and if you want, you can put it underneath the crevices of the chips. There may be some chips that do not have any salsa on it or toppings, so you might want to do that. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is get your cheese and... If you want to add any meat or something, maybe other vegetables, you can at this point if you want them heated. But I, this is just a basic nacho recipe that everyone should know, but I don't know if people know this. Okay, so the next thing I do is I microwave it. I do it for maybe 30 seconds. And so I bring it back to the table. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Now, if you didn't add the salsa already, you can add it now. Or you could add, um, you don't have to add salsa. I used to not like salsa, so you can use other things. This is the only time I use salsa, to be honest. You could add um, tomatoes, tomato sauce. I don't, that might be weird, but I don't know. I'm sure you have an idea. And you could also add sour cream or guacamole, but since this is, as I said before, a basic nacho recipe, I am not going to add those things, although they're very yummy. Okay, so... Um, I forgot to mention that I like to eat nachos when I come home from school and I'm like really hungry. So these are what they look like. Yes, I know they're so yummy. So don't like yell at me for explaining something that is probably very self-explanatory, but just for all the people who want to know how to make nachos, here they are. And it's pretty healthy. Um, some, people, some people say that cheese isn't that good for you, but I use fat free just because that's what we had in our refrigerator. But you can always use either no cheese at all if you're crazy, because this is nachos, you probably want cheese. Or you could have like healthy cheese or maybe um, vegan cheese if that's what you like to do. And I don't have much green things in here, so obviously you can add some vegetables. I hope you like this video. If you did, give a thumbs up and you try out some of the food that I made or like the snacks. If you're like me and you're always hungry. Yeah, um, subscribe. Comment below any videos you have, like an idea you have. Don't forget to like. Yeah.